Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to make a rest API call in your react JS application so without any delay let's start so first of all you can see that I have set up a basic react JS project in my computer and open this in visual studio code next part is we need a url from where we will get data using rest api so i'm going to type here enter and i will type here const url is equal to empty string and semicolon so the question is from where we will get that url to get that url first of all i will open my firefox inside this i will type dummy json this is a website from which you can do rest api calls free of cost while learning or while inserting dummy data in your application so i will open this from here i will click read docs button and you can see that this is url that we can use and once we will successfully get data from this url we will get this response status ok and method get method now again i will open my wheel studio code and paste that URL here. We need to remove this single quotes from both sides. And here, let me type here HTTPS colon and forward slash. Next part is I will use use effect hook to do a REST API call. So first of all, we need to import that. I will type here import use effect. And once I will press enter, you can see that use effect from react. If this is not auto completed by your Visual Studio code, you can directly write like this. And now we have imported this hook in our component. It means we can use that in our component. So before this return statement, I will press enter and I will type here use effect. Inside this, I will pass an arrow function as a callback function. So let me type here like this. So it means once your components will be rendered, your this function will be called. Again, it have another features means use effect hook have another features like you want to only fetch data once your application will load first time or you want to call this function each type when your specific use state hook is called. So not I'm not going to discuss that. So you will not be confused. But simply uh, in this application, we are going to use this use effect in such a way that once our component will be rendered first time our this function will be called and fetch data from our rest api and now inside this function one thing i am going to teach you uh, tell you that we are going to use async and await so basically if you are not familiar with these two keywords so first of all you have to learn this concept from the internet to continue to this tutorial basically it means once we use this async and await in a function it means once that function will be completely called that operation will be completed then the next code of our javascript will be executed otherwise it will be not otherwise it will be wait to that code to be executed completely so now i will remove this con uh, and first of all again i'm going to type here const fun you can give any name to this function is equal to and then I will type here async and arrow function again like this. So we simply have created an async function and assigned to our variable name function. Inside this, I will call a function fetch and inside the fetch, I will pass my URL here that we are created at line number three. Now I will simply press semicolon and before this, the response that will be get from this API, basically this function will fetch data from this API, whatever this endpoint is returning us. So basically, again, I will create a let data is equal to fetch URL. It means we are fetching data from this URL and saving all the data inside of this our data variable. Before this fetch function, we need to type here await because if our function is async, it means we can use await here. So await means do not execute the next line until the data is fetched completely from this API. For more information, you can learn this concept from the internet. And next, I will type here data, which is containing the response dot JSON. We need to convert that response in JSON. 
now the response will be in json but now we need to convert that in a javascript object so i will simply type here dot then then means after after this once this operation will be completed after this you what you need to do uh, we can pass a parameter here like this and an arrow function here so basically you can type any name in this but simply because we are calling this then to our this data so this whole data will be converted to a javascript object and uh, will be stored inside this variable so you can write here j or maybe any variable name but with the same variable you can access that data that is coming from rest api inside this function so first of all let me type here console.log and json so we have simply printed that json here let me type here semicolon and now first of all to run my application i will simply click on these icons terminal and from here i will select new terminal because v vs studio code provide us built-in terminal so inside this i will write my this command npm start to run my application let me type here why so we can get our application on this url let me open this from here i will type here localhost and 3001 so you can get this video uh, this url from this terminal that on which port your application is running let me again type here npm start because of some reasons our job is terminated i will press n no because it is asking me that would you like to run the app on another port i want to run the app on the same port let me see here again okay so you can see that our application is running because we are not printed on anything on the screen so that's why you are not seeing anything let me print here inside the return statement something like rest api and now once i we will see the page you can see that this text is printing on our screen now i need to right click and inspect because we need to see the output in our console okay so nothing is happening because we simply created this function inside the use effect hook but we do not call this function current currently so what i will do i will simply type here function and semicolon now if i refresh so you can see that we are getting data from the rest api successfully as the api told us you will receive this response if you will call this endpoint obviously these have another endpoints as well if you want to get products data cart data or like user authentication you can read this website documentation to do that but simply in this video we because we are only learning uh, to make a rest api call that's why i simply call the simple endpoint that provided by uh, this api okay now for example we want to use this data like method and status in our application what we can do i will simply again import another hook which is use state hook this is a hook which we use to manage state in a react.js component so if you are not familiar with that obviously you should learn the use of use state uh, hook so what i'm going to do i will simply type here uh, like temp you can create any variable and a function to update this state variable like set temp again you can give any name to both of them this is our function that will use to update our state and this is the function uh, this is a variable that will get to that will store the current state and now i will type here use state like this semicolon so now once we will receive our data as a what we will do we will simply type set temp function and uh, pass this json function to this function so now what it means that the data that is coming from rest api will be stored to this temp state so now we can easily access that in our this return statement for example if we want to do this like if i type here h1 and method is i will type here like this temp dot method let me refresh so you can see that method is okay temp is undefined we need to fix this error okay so i have found the error here we need to provide the initial value of our state let me type here zero it means once first our component will be rendered the initial value of our temp variable will be zero and one more thing inside our use effect hook the first parameter we are calling a callback function which will be called uh, once our component will be rendered or 
it can be called on multiple conditions and if i type here second parameter as an mpt array so this is our dependency it means that now our component this use effect function will only be called once our this component will be rendered first time so that's it and now here you can see that method is temp dot method let me refresh so you can see that method is get and simply let me copy and paste here and here i'm going to type status status and status is status so status is okay and method is get so friends this was the way that how we can make a rest api call in our react.js application i hope that this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching